After a hearing last week, District Court Judge Jason Marks issued a preliminary injunction on Wednesday, ruling that the plaintiffs challenging Senate Bill 99 had made their case that the law shouldn't be allowed to go into effect while the lawsuit over its constitutionality goes forward. In his ruling, Marx wrote, quote, Plaintiff's hardships in the absence of a preliminary injunction, losing access to medical care and possible mental and physical health crises, far outweigh any hardships placed on defendants if the status quo is maintained until a full trial on the merits is held. It is, of course, an enormous relief to our clients that are currently receiving care and dealing with the tremendous uncertainty of not knowing whether their care will be interrupted or delayed or or, you know, what it's going to mean for their lives and their um, daily health. Senate Bill 99, passed by the legislature and signed by the governor, prohibits gender-affirming procedures, including hormone treatments and surgeries, for transgender people under the age of 18. Plaintiffs, including several transgender youth, their families, and health care providers, sued the state over the law. Their attorneys said it violated fundamental rights and discriminated based on transgender status, and that it would deprive these youth of treatment found to be effective. The bigger question before the court is, does it make sense for the state to block all of this care um, for anyone who's accessing it, and only for this reason, but still allow the same treatment for other people for other reasons? The Montana Department of Justice, defending the law, argued there's more disagreement about the effectiveness of gender-affirming care than the plaintiffs suggested, and that the legislature has a legitimate interest because of what they argued could be long-term health effects from the procedures. Marx said the best time to evaluate the competing claims and evidence would be in a full trial. A spokesperson for the Department of Justice released a statement Wednesday, saying they plan to appeal the judge's decision to the Montana Supreme Court. They said, quote, This is a preliminary matter at this point. We look forward to presenting our complete factual and legal argument to protect Montana children from harmful, life-altering medications and surgeries. Because of the irreversible and immediate harms that the procedures have on children, we will be filing a notice of appeal today. There's no word yet on when a trial might happen. Marx gave the parties 21 days to work on a proposed schedule. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.